so the main raw materials for photosynthesis is carbon dioxide sunlight and water carbon dioxide enters through small tiny holes on the leaves called stomata so this carbon dioxide enters through stomata and oxygen is released to the say, released to the environment through the same stomata and sunlight sunlight is absorbed by chlorophyll in the leaf next is water water and minerals are absorbed by the root this site of photosynthesis is chloroplast in the leaf site of photosynthesis is chloroplast in the leaf we are having three main events happening during photosynthesis that's a 90 percentage sure question what are the events of photosynthesis what are the main events of photosynthesis how will you explain the events of photosynthesis like this one question can be asked from the topic photosynthesis so which all things are happening during photosynthesis first one absorption of light energy by chlorophyll chlorophylls absorb sunlight so first absorption of light energy by chlorophyll chlorophyll in the leaves absorbs the sunlight second step conversion of light energy into chemical energy plus splitting of water into hydrogen and oxygen in second step two things are happening conversion of light energy into chemical energy light energy is converted to chemical energy and the same time water molecule is splitted into hydrogen and oxygen splitting of water into hydrogen and oxygen so in the second step two things are happening light energy is converted into chemical energy as well as water is splitted to hydrogen and oxygen the third and the final event is reduction of carbon dioxide to carbohydrates carbon dioxide is reduced to carbohydrates carbon dioxide is reduced to carbohydrates so these are the things happening during photosynthesis so which are the raw materials sunlight carbon dioxide and water which is the site of photosynthesis chloroplast in the leaves which are the events happening during photosynthesis first one absorption of light energy by chlorophyll in the leaf second one this light energy is converted to chemical energy as well as water molecule is split to hydrogen and oxygen then the third step carbon dioxide is reduced into carbohydrates these are the things these are the events happening in photosynthesis now moving to the nutrition in human beings so when we are studying the nutrition in human beings we need to study about each part that takes part in nutrition so starting from the mouth and ends in the large intestine starting from the mouth and ends in the large intestine we need to study the functions of all the parts in between mouth and large intestine so starting from the mouth what is the function of mouth intake of whole food the food which we eat goes inside our body through mouth so what is the function of mouth intake of whole food next teeth what is the function of teeth chewing or grinding of food next tongue what is the function of tongue rolling or tasting of food rolling of food tasting of food rolling of food and tasting of food is the function of tongue then next is salivary glands these are the glands which present inside our mouth salivary glands swallowing or pushing down of food secrete saliva plus mucus so salivary glands the function of salivary glands is swallowing or pushing down of food next secrete saliva plus mucus this saliva actually contains this saliva actually contains an enzyme called salivary amylase this saliva actually contains an enzyme called salivary amylase this enzyme salivary amylase helps to convert starch into sugar so the digestion starts from the mouth itself the digestion starts from the mouth itself the starch is converted to sugar with the help of salivary amylase salivary amylase is an enzyme present in saliva which is secreted by salivary glands next is esophagus esophagus takes the food from mouth to stomach by peristaltic movement peristaltic movement just wave like movement wave like motion that's what called peristalsis 
so food from mouth reaches the stomach through esophagus it is a long tube starting from the mouth to the stomach so food from the mouth reaches the stomach through this esophagus by peristalsis or peristaltic movements that means it moves like a wave like motion then stomach stomach contains gastric glands this gastric gland secrete gastric juice stomach contains gastric glands this gastric gland secrete gastric juice gastric juice contains pepsin hcl and mucus gastric juice contains pepsin hcl and mucus gastric gland secrete gastric juice this gastric juice contains pepsin hcl and mucus pepsin hcl and mucus pepsin is an enzyme which helps in the breakdown of proteins pepsin is an enzyme which helps in the breakdown of proteins